Hello guys, and uh, today I'm going to show you how I create the parametric airflow hose for a mini PC case. So inspiration from this uh, part, the bottom part of a mini PC, and they have uh, many slots, many slot holes in here. So in here you can see, um, I can also go inside the, the, the frame sketch. And I can change in the the shape of the curve, and they are one of these slot also update. I can also change in this length to let's see fifty, and you can see one of these slots radius also smaller. I create a new sketch on the top view and we create a round rectangle. And we set the radius to something like 10 and selecting this line and this line, hit E for ego. Select this point, this point this point it asks for symmetry and set the distance from this line to this line to 50 so I have the base shape of the base cat for the base then I close and I will screw this one down to the negative one for the z-axis and 20 okay next I will um, I will create half of the um, the upper right pattern and from there I will mirror this to to the lower right and from there, I will mirror everything to the left. Okay. But first, I will design a line like this. And a B-spline like this. Okay. And in between the B-spline, I will generate 10 points. So I have 10 points on the B splite and 10 points also on the line. And when I have uh, these points, I will use them to generate slots in between. Okay, so that I will have 10 slots. And I also want to link the length of this line to the radius of this uh, these slots so that one i'm changing later if i want to change the length uh, of uh, this line this line right here the radius of the slots also smaller okay so to create um the frame I will create a sketch on the top and let's draw a line like this and a b-spline like this and the next point to control the tension sheet of the b-spline so I put it in here the next point to control the the, the curvature of the b-spline so I click on here and the next point will be the end point of this spline so I put it somewhere up here okay and I want this point and this point horizontal so I hit H for horizontal and I select in this point and set the distance to 100 and this point to here 50 
and this part and this part hit V for vertical constraint. And you can see I have this part is free vertical and this part is free vertical and horizontal. Okay, 100% free. This part is uh, locked in the horizontal with this part, but you can still move in it up and down and left and right. Okay, something like this. And let me select in this line and set the distance to 100. And I also want to name this one to land. Okay, so that I will remember this name. So I will link this to my slot radius later. Click OK. Then I close. And I will call my sketch to frame. Okay, it's a little bit hard to see. So let me hide the true and just show the sketch down here. Okay. Next, I will generate points in between this one and this one. So I go to the curve workbench and select in this curve and go to the discrete ties. And I have the first one. Click on this line and create another one. Now I have two discrete ties. I select this two and go down to the data and in default I have the number 100 points so I just want 10 points in here and set the point size bigger change the point size to 10 now I need to uh, use these points as reference points to generate um, slots in between so let me go to the plot workbench and I want to hide these two uh, lines. So I go down to the frame and it will hide the frame. And let me create a new sketch on the top view and reference this poise. something like this okay and we create a, a slot start from this line from this point to here okay and then I select this point and this point hit C to snap it and for the radius I will hit D and I click on it and I go inside the expression editor and I will go to the frame type in here frame and I have the frame sketch click on it I want to go to the constraint hit C and go to the constraint and you can see in here I have the land already Click on it, the length, and the result currently is uh, 100. So I want to divide this to, let's try 20. So you can see the result is now 5. Click OK and OK. Maybe a little bit, a little bit smaller. So I go inside the, this one, go inside the FS and change this to 40 divide to 40 and the result is 2.5 for the radius click OK and OK OK I think uh, divide to 40 is fine now I can create another slot on from this point to here and keep creating slots and make sure they have um, a horizontal constraint on these lines.
Okay. Now I will select this uh this arc and then this arc just select all of these arcs and the last one this one and e for ego now for the second slot i grab this part and move it to here you can see they are not matching so I just want to add a vertical constraint on it. So I select in this port and this port. Hit V for vertical. And then I hit V and to activate the vertical constraint. And this port and this port. Okay, now the sketch is fully constrained. I close. Now I will is true. Now I will hide these uh, discrete ties. So I select visual and I will hide it. And I select the sketch 002 and I call this to slot. And I will is true this one to. 50 and symmetry click OK. I select new is true and go to the mirror, mirror this one in the SC plan and then select the issue and mirror again to the YZ plan. Now I drop the issue down and select all of these four and go to the union i have a single fusion let me show the is true control selecting the is true and the fusion and i go to cut now if i want to change the shape of these uh, the entire slot I just simply go to this frame and changing the shape okay and changing the number to 50 and this one now this one in okay they are working fine so that's it for the tutorial and thanks for watching and see you in the next video